Hi, this is Katie. <laughs> when was the last time you've seen me sit in the driver's seat of my car? 1945? You guys, this feels like so normal and right to be filming in my car. Like this feels right to me. Anyway, hi. So this is going to be the last like packing, organizing, sorting through all my stuff, packing up my car video before I leave. And uh, I wanted to do most of this video in the car. So I'm still gonna be doing some stuff in the apartment today. Um, I'm still gonna be going through some of my stuff to do, you know, the whole minimalism thing that we talked about in my last video in terms of like, I really only wanna keep the things that bring me joy or that I use or that I love and everything else give away or sell in hopes that someone else can find joy out of them. And so we're gonna be doing some of that in the apartment, but I'm also gonna be cleaning this car because it's a mess. And then uh, starting to pack up my car. That's gonna be all in this video. My front seat area is pretty tidy because since I've lived here, you know, I've driven other people around and stuff. So my front seat is, is I mean empty. I just put these bags here for when I'm cleaning if I have trash and stuff and then I just have my purse on the floor but everything else here is fine. This is a mess so I'm gonna organize that a little bit um, but everything else in the front is fine. This is what I need to tackle. This. This. What is going on here? How did it get like this? Oh sorry I'm yelling at you sorry. <laughs> but yeah this is just uh, a pile of crap that I need to go through and then I want to like super organize the trunk because that's mostly good but there's just like a couple things back in the trunk that are just kind of like thrown around but we're gonna do the back seat a little bit of the front seat just kind of like in between the seats all right let me get my tripod set you guys up hopefully have good lighting and then we're gonna go back to the apartment and uh, start packing and start loading some stuff in I'm so excited I can't speak when you're near me so this is all of this tidied up. I just left my hand sanitizer, deodorant, lotion, and sunscreen right here. And once I get my wipes out of my apartment, I can clean whatever that is up. But for now anyway, it's more about tidying because I wanna get my car prepared to move some of my stuff in it. So all right, that is good, 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 good. And now let's get in the back seat and deal with that. All I feel is something way bigger than me. Take the ropes and I'll take advantage You've never been loved and I'm a romantic I know you've been hurt but you could put faith into me Cause I promise that I'll love you so I'll never be the first to go You make me feel something different I've been missing all my life. Do you feel the same? Okay, so the back seat is done. Um, let me just show you quick like how I reorganize it a little bit. So this is my food bag. A lot of you guys, if you remember my videos from like last year or the last few years, I have this Yellowstone bag that I have as my food bag that I leave like right in the back, right in between the seats. Um, so it's easy for me to like grab a snack. So then on this side, I have my suitcase. And then over here on the bottom, those are um, just like important papers and pictures and stuff like that. And then this is my sleeping bag. And so the seat is actually completely empty. Um, I mean, I'm sitting on it, but the seat is empty. And you might be like, Katie, that does not look empty. All of this is coming inside. I am going to bring these inside to wash them. Um, these are like some of the shirts that I would hang up if I was sleeping in the car, which I'm not gonna be doing anytime soon, so like, don't don't worry. Um, but I'm telling you guys exactly what I'm doing in Friday's video. But anyway, and I'm just gonna bring in my blanket to wash it, or both my blankets, there's two there. And then I'm bringing these inside to potentially put like my blankets and pillows and stuff in, because again, I'm not gonna be sleeping in the car for a little while, just until everything gets safe. So I don't need my pillows and blankets to take up a lot of room, and these are like those space saver bags. So I'm gonna bring those inside. And then this is my mom's like Christmas present or birthday present or something that I got uh, a couple months ago. So this, I just need to find like a safe place to kind of store it. And then this is my desk. So this is not coming inside, but this I just have to like put somewhere. I'll just put it there. So, oh, and then my fan. My fan goes down there. 
because this suitcase, if you guys remember from one of my last videos, has my jackets and like my clothes that don't fit me right now and my extra purses in it. So I don't need to get in that suitcase a lot. Obviously the jackets and the clothes that don't fit me right now, I'm not gonna have to get for probably, you know, several months. So there are things that I wanna keep, but things that I don't need to get to a lot. So that's in that suitcase. Yeah, so I'm just gonna bring all that stuff inside and then the rest of the back seat is empty. So then there are a couple things that I just took from the back seat and put back here, but that's because they are going to go back here. So I just put them back here so that I can organize this. So this is, uh, this is gonna be a little bit more challenging, I think, than the back seat. Still not like crazy, crazy challenging, but this is gonna take a little bit more of that, like, you know, make sure that I love it and I'm gonna use it. And if not, get rid of it. Oh, because there's also two bags from back here that are going to Goodwill or something. So I just put those in the front seat. So, okay, let's let's get to the trunk. I can't sleep thinking about you. All I feel is you make it harder to breathe. You take the ropes and I'll take advantage. You've never been loved and I'm a romantic. I know you've been hurt, but you could put faith into me. Cause I promise that I love you slow. I'll never be the first to go. You make me feel something different. You are the piece I've been missing all my life. Do you feel the same? So, for now, this is what this looks like. And there's the back seat again. All of that's coming in the house, but that's everything else. That's just a um, like a little over the seat organizer thing that I keep my shades, like my car shades in, and some paper towels, some trash bags, and my lint rollers I keep in there. So I'm gonna bring all that in the house. I have a couple other things that I'm gonna bring in the house. And then we're gonna get back in the air conditioning because it's a million degrees out right now and uh, start organizing the house and then bring some stuff in here. Hey guys, with all this talk about me moving and what I'm taking with me and what I'm not taking with me and really trying to downsize what I own to only have things that bring me joy, I thought this was the perfect time to talk about another Skillshare class. You guys know I've talked about Skillshare many times on my channel. They're an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. They have tons of different areas of study, whether it's business and marketing, lifestyle, photography, art, and music. And one class that I think is super interesting and matches up with everything that we've been talking about lately is called Everyday Minimalism by Erin Boyle. It's common to think that minimalism just means that you don't have anything, but that's not true. It just means being aware of what you do have and what you let into your life, and also to let go of things that no longer bring you joy to create space for other things that could bring you joy, whether that's mentally or physically. So I just wanted to mention this class to you guys really quickly. There are a ton of other classes on Skillshare. If you are interested, you guys know that I have a coupon code for you. Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium membership to the first thousand people who click on the link in my description. And after that, it's only like $10 a month. So I wanna thank Skillshare for partnering with me on this video. And yeah, let's get back to packing and organizing. Hey guys, so throughout the last couple of videos, you saw me organize and go through and declutter my closet, my bathroom, um, some of the stuff in my living room as well. And I think the last place in my whole apartment, I don't, the lighting is going in and out, sorry. I think the last place in my whole apartment that needs to kind of be like organized and I need to like go through it is my desk. And so I think I mentioned in one of my recent videos that I went through a little bit of it, but my actual desk is still a mess. It's a lot of stuff that I use every day, so I don't think that I'm actually going to be throwing out or getting rid of or selling or giving away anything, but I still wanna organize it, go through it, just to make sure, and then to have it a little bit more organized to ease my move. So let's do that. Okay, so this is what my desk looks like. It's an absolute disaster, but I just wanna go through it quickly to organize and to see if there's anything that I wanna get rid of. I don't think there is. I think this is all stuff that I do use and love, but I just wanna go through it really quickly and organize it to make my move easier. So let's do that right now. We've both been through the pain. Yes, I have two Polly Pockets. <laughs> Said things never change. And I recently bought this cord organizer, and so I just am throwing all my cords in here, and then I will organize them. 
I know you've been hurt, but you could put faith into me. So like I said before, I didn't think that there was gonna be anything to throw out or really give away on here, but I just wanted to organize it just in case and to put things kind of where they belong. So most of that ended up in my backpack because my backpack is where I generally just put things that I think would go on my desk. So even when I'm in the car full time, my backpack is where you know my headphones and cords and computer and stuff goes. So most of that stuff went in there. And then just for right now, these are um, some lens wipes for my glasses. And then this is that cord organizer that I want to go through before I move. And then just my computer and my YouTube plaque that I will put in the car right before I leave. So this is done. <laughs> okay, so you guys know that I like to talk about focus and priorities and minimalism. And because minimalism does not mean that you don't have anything. It just means that you enjoy and you use everything that you do have. And so when I'm organizing and packing and stuff, I really like to make sure that I love what I have and that I'm going to use what I have and I went through my clothes I went through all like my skincare and hair care and stuff um, I went through like my books I went through even some papers just to have all that organized and I kind of think that I'm not done packing by any means and this is crooked but I think that I'm done having to like go through things I think it's still crooked oh I'm making spaghetti hold on Okay, but anyway, I'm gonna eat that in a second. Um, but yeah, I think that I kind of went through everything that I need to go through. So I think now it's more about just straight up packing. And so I am going to, there are some things that are already kind of packed and so I can bring those in the car, but I want to bring some stuff in there today, especially stuff that I'm not gonna need over the next few days, you know? So like my books and some of my papers or some of my receipts. And uh, I have like a little bag over there of just like random stuff. I know I can throw that in there and so, I'm going to start packing up my car. Oh, well, I'm gonna eat first, and then I'm gonna start packing up my car and uh, show you guys. Yay. Okay, so I have moved quite a bit of stuff in my car. So you guys saw most of this before, uh, like my clothes and my extra skincare and stuff's in there. Then also, these are the containers that my tampons are in. This is my underwear and like sports bras and bathing suits and stuff. And then this might stay here, especially if I can have it like secured down, like double-sided tape or something, with some of my other extra stuff like shampoo, tissues, and Q-tips. So then the back seat is still right now pretty empty. I know it's a little dark in here, sorry, but then I also draped over the passenger seat um, a couple jackets and then a couple of my clothes that I didn't want to fold. And so that's over there. My sleeping bag, my food, all that stuff is back here. And then the front seat is, this is not going to look like this. So my shoes and all like my papers and stuff are right there, but then all of this is to give to Goodwill and that's to mail. And so this is just gonna stay here. I'm probably going to do that on, I don't know, tomorrow or the next day or so and give all of that to Goodwill or something similar to Goodwill. But after I donate all of that, most of the front seat will be empty. And so I'll be able to have, you know, like my, my backpack and my purse and stuff like that up here. And then, you know, all the rest of the stuff can go here. I'm trying to even think what else I need to pack. I have some food. I mean, I have like my blankets and pillows and stuff. I actually might get rid of my pillows and buy new pillows because I have two really, really old pillows and then two newer pillows, but I don't love them. They kind of lose their shape very, very easily. But yeah, everything else I need to bring with me, I can just fit back here. And that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the third packing, organizing, cleaning, decluttering video. This is gonna be the last one of this little series uh, before I move because my lease is up, so I am moving out of this apartment. I'm gonna go through all the details of where I'm going, what I'm doing, all of that in Friday's video, but my next video on Tuesday is gonna be like more of a fun video. So please make sure that you're subscribed and that you have that 
it's storming out, I guess. So please make sure that you're subscribed and that you have that notification bell clicked so that you are notified of my next videos. And so you can see like that fun video that I have coming up and then my final like reveal of what I'm doing, where I'm going. And then I'm also gonna have a couple videos coming up of what I thought of living in an apartment versus living in my car. Because most of you guys know that I've spent the majority of the last several years living in my car. And then I moved into an apartment as a little experiment. My lease is up, I'm leaving. And so I am going to be doing a couple videos in the next few weeks about what I liked about my apartment, what I didn't like, what I miss about the road and all that kind of stuff. So I really, really hope that you guys are subscribed and following me on Instagram as well. And yeah, I guess that's it. Thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.